Hey guys, it's Kevin Kreider. <sighs> More than just muscle. All right guys, these are the reasons why keto diets won't work for you. And this is from my own personal experience. And these are the top reasons from doing it for a while. And just me sharing why this isn't gonna work for me, really, tell you the truth. But you can probably relate to this. And I know even though I'm gonna say that, I'm still gonna get a lot of shit. But anyway, so these are the reasons why keto diets aren't gonna work for you. First of all, it tells you to get rid of a whole food group. I believe anything that tells you to go get rid of a whole food group is a bullshit diet. All right, so now here's another thing. Keto diets have great benefits if you're sick. Like if, they have, if you have cancer or Lyme disease or they're showing that neurological diseases and all that kind of stuff. If you don't have that, I really don't really recommend it. You, it doesn't really matter, okay? Um, for you to do it for fat loss. I don't think it's sustainable for fat loss, to tell you the truth. The people, the reason why it works for those people who have cancer and Lyme disease and neurological diseases too is because their reason for doing it is very big. It's huge. Yours is fat loss, which is not usually a driving force to help people to stick with this forever. It's like, uh, went off a little bit on there. But anyway, check me out on this. The reason why keto diets won't work for you, number one, you get rid of a whole food group. Right, like I said before, end up binging on that food group the moment you start getting carbohydrates into your diet as well. Number two, I definitely believe if you're lactose intolerant, it's gonna be very difficult for you to be on a ketogenic diet because not only do you have to get rid of a whole food group, but your stomach's gonna get rumbly and tumbly if you uh, get like cheese and all that kind of dairy products and high fat into your body and you know, you're lactose intolerant, so that doesn't really help you at all. Number three, if you're broke, and the reason why I say it's if you're broke is because it's not an inexpensive diet. So it really like eating high proteins and fats and steaks and sardines and tuna, all that kind of stuff, and good quality olive oil and butter, like not margarine, butter, it's not cheap. Carbohydrates are one of the cheapest most efficient fuel sources. That's why all of these big companies can sell lots of money on Cheetos and whatever, these chips that we eat. Shouldn't call out Cheetos like that because I do like Cheetos once in a while. And the thing about keto diets too is, I don't think if you're trying to bulk up in the gym and gain as much muscle mass as possible, I wouldn't recommend ketogenic diets because it's very difficult to eat enough fats and everything to get into your diet to keep you in an anabolic state like that. So if you're really trying to put on as much muscle mass as possible, it's very difficult to be on a ketogenic diet. And that's the thing that could be conflicting for a lot of people because they're like, well, I've seen people do it. I'm not saying you can't do it. It's just gonna be a lot more difficult. So there, do things that are a little bit easier for yourself and effective. So if you're bulking up, I wouldn't recommend ketogenic diets. Also too, I wouldn't recommend ketogenic diets if you're an athlete, if you're a pure athlete. Yes, there are some athletes, if they look at carbs, they'll get fat and sluggish. The thing is, most athletes aren't. They're very efficient at using glycogen and glucose for their performance. So there are some people who break those barriers. You're probably not one of them, but if you wanna try, go ahead and experiment for a little bit. Be my guest, be my guest. The thing is though, I would really recommend if you're an athlete to not do a ketogenic diet. If your relationships with your significant other or your business partner or your family sucks already, because here's the thing, you're gonna find out exactly who you like and don't like when you start a ketogenic diet. You're very angry, you get very cranky in the beginning, and the thing is it can be a little intense. You're gonna find out who you really like in these relationships, and sometimes because you're getting adjusted to it, you might not be able to control your temper. <laughs> so. I really recommend not doing that as well if you're just doing a ketogenic diet. That is why ketogenic diets won't work for you. There are plenty of reasons why it will work for you, but if you really fall underneath one of these categories, I really recommend you not trying a ketogenic diet to start off with, and it won't work for you. All right, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can take the body design survey. It's a free survey to take and it'll guide you to a muscle and strength program with nutrition. A lot of nutrition courses in there, guys, to help you lose body fat, to build muscle the right way, the correct way, the fastest and easiest as well. And I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>